My journey into the world of the wolf has taken me from fierce pack rivalries to individual wolf anatomy. But now it's time to go inside the pack itself. And there's one foolproof way to get a glimpse into pack life. Find a carcass, make yourself comfortable, and let the action unfold. Down here by the river, we just spotted two gray wolves. And I know why now. Right here along the river, there's a dead elk. That elk carcass is pretty much gone. Came through last night, it wasn't there. So what this tells me is that there's probably a good-sized pack that completely got their fill. They're back in the trees, sleeping it off. Hope they come back and pick what's left. On all of the wolf carcasses I've seen over the years in Yellowstone, a similar pattern emerges. First, the alpha male and female, the heads of the pack, eat the prime cuts of the animal. Subordinate wolves claim their share next. And finally, the lowest ranking wolves, usually the youngest, mop up the leftovers. The carcass on the riverbank is pretty picked over by the time this young wolf approaches and takes a share. Even after the sun sets, the wolves continue to feed on the carcass, and the feast carries on into the night. But move a little closer, as I'm able to do with captive wolves, and it's like becoming a temporary member of the pack. opportunity to be this close to some trained wolves on an elk carcass. Now this wolf right here is doing the exact same thing that wolf did when he bit my sleeve. He's getting a good grip and using that tugging power to tear the flesh away. Every tooth that a wolf has is used right here. They use those canines when they actually take the elk down. And right now, they're using their incisors, the small teeth in front, to bite and grab little pieces of flesh and tear them away. And even the hair, they actually pluck the hair away sometimes with their incisors so they can get down to the meat. And then, when they get down to the bone, they use the teeth in the back of their jaw, and they'll crush the bone so they can get to the marrow to eat it. So right now, as these other wolves move in, this wolf seems to be the dominant wolf. He's establishing his position on the carcass. He's usually using vocalization to let them know, hey, I, I want this to myself right now. The wolves are very aware of hierarchy. And because I'm so close to the carcass, I have to assert my right to be here. And I don't want to have a submissive position near the carcass as the wolves come around me, so that's why I stood up there. I definitely don't want to be seen as a submissive wolf. Last time that happened, I ended up with a few dozen stitches. Every time I'm near a wolf pack, even in captivity, I have to be sensitive to the pack's hierarchy. 